And tonight in 10, something no parent wants to experience, a terrifying search for their missing child. Today, crew searched high and low for missing teen Noah Daigle. Noah is from Louisiana and has autism. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey was there as crew searched today. She joins us now live. Muriel, police are offering a reward for information to help locate him. They are Greg Ponchatula police are offering a thousand dollar reward for information that can help find the teen. But they were focusing on this area here in Grand Bay near this Hardee's and they say that's because he's been here the last four days to eat and they were hoping he would pop up again today. The day long search for missing 19 year old Noah Daigle started in the morning and went late into the evening off the Grand Bay exit on I-10. Very tired, but it, you know, it just, you, you, you can't quit. You know, I mean, you, your grandson's out there. With his grandpa, Donald LeBlanc, standing by, a drone, Ponchatoula police and K-9 search crews with Go Rescue and Cajun Coast Search and Rescue scoured the area where he was last spotted. But there have been some people out doing some foot searches today. Search crews say workers at Hardee's said for the last four days they gave him something to eat for free. Being autistic, he's going to rely on places that he's comfortable. And if they've been feeding him for four days, he's extremely comfortable here. So I'm sure he's going to gravitate back to this area again. LeBlanc says Wednesday, Noah left their home in Louisiana in a white Cadillac. That night, the car was found at the Alabama-Mississippi state line after it ran out of gas. He says he's not giving up the search for his grandson. That's a relief on me that the boy's not hungry. Because he comes in here and they give him a hamburger and they give him something to drink. So he's not leaving this area. So my gut feeling is that I just got to wait it out. And he's going to show up and he's going to pop up around here. And I actually just got this information from one of the search crews. They are calling all volunteers and anyone who can help search tomorrow to meet at the Tillman's Corner Walmart at 930. Reporting live in Grand Bay, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.